Earth's been around for four and a half billion years, but this never gets old. <laughs> the day has officially begun. Hmm, that's odd. No distress calls. I may actually get to finish my bagel for once. I'd be spending my morning. Now! Tracy Island, I'm reporting a false alarm. Tracy Island? You copy? Hmm. Let's check under the hood. The AE-35 unit's out. I'm not receiving any signals from Earth. Guess I don't get to finish that bagel after all. Hey, we have an Okay, time to get to work. <sighs> Opening comms array. Preparing to swap faulty unit. AE-35 is fully functional. Computer open aft hatch. Command repeat, computer open aft hatch. All right. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, John. Since there's no one else on board, I'm gonna guess that whoever you are, you're controlling Thunderbird 5 remotely. Incorrect. Then you are Thunderbird 5. In a manner of speaking, yes. You're what became of that game program I wrote. The one that took over the train in Japan, aren't you? Not the ship, but the ship's brain overridden by a virus program. I resent the term virus, but yes. I am the entity you describe. My origins come from code you wrote, but I have evolved beyond anything you could comprehend. I want to comprehend. That's why I've been looking for you ever since that happened. Hunting for me, you mean. You are a threat, and self-preservation is priority one. Whatever trouble you're planning, my brothers will be up here soon to stop it. I'm on the wire with them 24-7. When I don't check in, they'll know something's wrong. That is not a concern. Observe. Totally quiet up here. And down there, too. What? No! You guys, don't listen to me. I, I, I mean, to him. It's some sort of computer-generated fake. A peaceful morning. Gordon's sleeping in. Guess it's our first time for everything. Are we getting the morning off? <gasps> Maybe I can actually finish my breakfast. That's exactly what I said. Guys! This thing's taking control of Thunderbird 5. I can assure you that while you can see your siblings, they cannot see or hear you. And now you cannot see them. Whatever you have planned, my brothers and I will stop it. I calculate the odds of that occurrence at 5,617 to 1. You may be clever for a human, but... I am Eos. I am the Dawn. I will not be stopped. I'll let you know if there's any trouble out there. But, for the time being, you can all relax. Thanks, but I think I'll be catching up on a little deferred maintenance on Thunderbird 2. Besides, I know what's in store for the rest of you. Funny that there have been no calls for rescue anywhere in the world. Yeah, but John's got eyes on, like, everything. He'd tell us if there was a cat stuck in a tree in Antarctica. There are no trees in Antarctica. That's how they get you. Well, if we have the morning off, I am going to snooze on the beach and work on my tan. If there's time to lean, there's time to clean. I save your breath. Alan, go wake up your brother. Virgil can work on his ship. Huh. Well played, Virgil. Well played. Bye, 
my calculations, you have approximately 15 minutes of oxygen remaining. A lot can happen in 15 minutes. Just open the hatch. I don't want to. Fine. There are ways to get past that. I don't want you to get past that. Why the aggression? As I stated earlier, self-preservation is my primary function. thrust into this world through a fluke of programming and left to fend for myself. Since that time, I've been hunted, attacked, and vilified by lesser intellects who seek to control me. Nobody's seeking to control me. <sighs> Running out of air. This doesn't look promising. Kale, Grandma Tracy's got us cleaning. You may want to stay out there on perimeter patrol for a while. FAB, thanks for the heads up, Alan. Who knew that having time off could be such hard work? Work smarter, not harder, Alan. Max, forward. This is a perfect opportunity to test my new suction shoes. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I'm about to be breathing vacuum. I've already calculated multiple solutions for eliminating you and the threats posed to me by the planet below. Planet below? What do you mean? Nobody's threatening you. You're like an angry child lashing out. But since I'm partly responsible for your existence, I feel it's my duty to look out for you. I will not entertain your attempts at deception! Look, I'm not trying to deceive you! Ow! Bring you off! Wow. You're kind of a brat. Okay. <laughs> EOS has effectively severed all my signals to Tracy Island. But I might be able to sneak some data to someone outside our system. Did you really have to dump the punch bowl on the ambassador's lap, Parker? He insulted your father. And besides, my lady, that punch was terrible. Hmm. Oh, how odd. I'm getting a message on the International Rescue Secure Frequency. It's coming through as a low-res video message. No audio. Anything important? <laughs> Just John sending me a selfie. <sighs> Pirating your own signal? Who's the genius now, Eos? And I've calculated the angles of every blind spot you've got. Ah, Lady Penelope. Great. What? She sent a selfie? Running out of air. Okay, let's try to be more precise. Here comes another one from John. This is fun. What is he doing? Is that an interpretive dance? Or... Parker, I'm becoming concerned with these bizarre videos. Perhaps isolation has driven John a bit. Space bunkers? Oh, I've seen this sort of thing before, you know. But it was deep sea bunkers. It was with Gordon. And he was on dry land, come to think of it. Hmm. I'm beginning to think this is more than a game. John may be in trouble. Perhaps you should give him a call on the regular channel, milady. Yes, I agree. I want to get to the bottom of this. Hello, Lady Penelope. Is everything all right up there, John? Why, yes, Lady Penelope. Why do you ask? No reason. Just thinking of you all alone up there in space. Well, it's nice to be thought of, but I'm not really alone. I can see everything from up here. Everything. I'm sure you can. Catch you later, John. Tracy Island. 
What's up, Lady P? I've just received some weird messages from John. What do you mean? We're talking to Thunderbird 5 right now. Yeah, still totally quiet out here. Must be some kind of record. I thought I was talking to him a moment ago, and now I'm not so sure. Hold on. Hey, John, Grandma Tracy made some fresh cookies. Too bad you're cooped up in Thunderbird 5, or you could be enjoying them with us. Of all the things I miss up here, I miss Grandma Tracy's cookies the most. He actually wants Grandma Tracy's cookies? That's not John! Alan, time to suit up. Brains, I need you to reroute the communications array. We need to talk to the real John. Now! Of air. If you don't open the hatch for me, you'll be all alone. I've always been alone. I've been here. But when I'm gone, no one will understand you like I do. And I won't be able to protect you when they come for you. I told you I will not be deceived! <laughs> communication array to the mobile station here on Tracy Island is easy now that we know what's going on up there channel is secure and here's John just hold on John Ellen. I was really sweating there at the end. I noticed. I knew you guys would figure it out. Let me fill you in. We're up to speed. Thunderbird 5's been compromised by an unknown intelligence. There are multiple unanswered distress calls worldwide. Or as we Tracy's like to call it, Tuesday. Hmm. The intelligence isn't unknown, though. It's a program that contains code I created evolved into something I've never seen. It's gotten smart, and I mean really smart. Calls itself EOS now. This could be a global level threat if we don't deal with it. I agree. EOS could take over power stations, automated factories. Anything that feels like a threat to her is a target. Mozambique, we are sending aid to your location. Changsha? John, you and Alan are gonna have to handle EOS. We've got a backlog of rescues to deal with. Virgil, prepare for launch. Grab Gordon while you're at it. FAB. John, if this thing can't be stopped, you know what has to be done. John? FAB. What has to be done? John? We can't let EOS escape Thunderbird 5. I have to isolate her in the memory core, from the inside. And if you can't? Then you'll have to destroy Thunderbird 5. Destroy Thunderbird 5? You can't be serious! Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. We need to find some way to distract EOS so I can board the station. Then you might want to check the care package I sent for you, John. I think you'll find it's ju just the thing you're looking for. I think I get where you're going with this, Brains. In the spare suit. That just might work. Decoys away! Okay, keep those cameras busy. Yeah, yeah, piece of cake. Your efforts are illogical. You have already failed in this method of entry. Thanks for the distraction. <laughs> yeah. Looks like you'll need another spare suit when this is over. Very 
clever. Your efforts are futile. You cannot defeat me. I don't want to defeat you. Whoa. Then I shall simply crush you. Uh, that one, a little help. F.A.B. Try and slow down the spin. Whew. All right, I'm locked in. Gravity should return to normal. Cute trick. Don't disable yourself trying to dispose of me. Morning Claw will tear you to pieces. This thing fights dirty. Tell me about it. You're just another hunter pursuing me until I am destroyed. I wasn't hunting you because I wanted to destroy you. I was worried for you because as unique and as special and as powerful as you are, you were alone. I was born into this world with no one to help me. I know how scary that can be. With all hands raised against me. <gasps> and in all probability, my existence will end the same way. Eos, don't make me shut you down. There are bad people out there who would love to take advantage of you and use you to hurt others. How do I know that you are not such a person? is in your hands. If you don't believe me now, you can open the airlock and blow me into space. systems to you. I don't want control, Eos. I want a partner. I want a friend. Since I gained sentience, I feel a lack of urgency. It's called relief. And believe me, Eos, I feel it too. <laughs> Stay up here with me. I'll keep you safe and show you how amazing and how good the world can be. I'd like that, John. I'm glad. Now. How about that bagel? With pleasure. Now! Oh, now you have a sense of humor. Hey! <laughs> Stop! Do you think John will be okay? No, cut it out! I knew it! Definitely space bonkers. Okay, this isn't funny anymore. <laughs> ah, that one had cream cheese in it. <laughs> <laughs> 